Good afternoon, and welcome to the award ceremony for the 2020 National History Day in Pennsylvania State Contest. Uh, I hope you will forgive me if uh, this award ceremony has a few bumps and, uh, and, and problems along the way, but uh, as you can see, we're practicing social distancing here, and I'm running the show all by myself. And uh, there's a reason why I ended up in a history field and not in a tech field. So um, please bear with me as I uh, work my way through this. It has been an extraordinary year for National History Day in Pennsylvania. Um, we have had to overcome some considerable obstacles in order to manage to have the, the statewide contest. And I cannot thank the teachers and the parents and the students and the judges enough for their extraordinary efforts, the extraordinary obstacles that they've had to overcome, and the effort that you have put in to keeping History Day uh, alive this year. Uh, I do have to note that uh, we're, we're pretty proud of the fact that History Day has gone forward all throughout the country when other programs have been canceled uh, due to the, to the difficulties of maintaining them during these times. So uh, it's a real testament to the strength of the program, to the dedication of the teachers and students that were here today, uh, and that we had full attendance at the, at the state contest. We did not see a significant drop in numbers. And so I think that's something that we can all be pretty proud of. So before we get started with the various uh, awards, uh, I do want to make a few remarks, uh, a few housekeeping notes. Uh, I'm going to break with tradition where we normally announce just the third, second, and first place winners. I'm going to announce all six winners, all six project programs, excuse me, projects that went to the final round. Uh, but only the top two, as usual, are going to go on to the national contest. And we'll talk more about that uh, at the end, towards the end of the program, about what, uh, what the, the winners are gonna need to do to prepare. So uh, I would like to begin by thanking our sponsors. I do have to thank the P Pennsylvania Department of Education for their support, Universal Health Services of Pennsylvania, M&T Bank, Orstown Bank and Avalon Insurance for helping make this program available. Uh, so, we're going to move right into it because I that's what you've come here to, uh, to find out is who the winners are. So I'm just going to begin and uh, we won't have to wait for applause and we won't have to wait for students to come up and get their, their medals. Some of you may be wondering what we're going to do about those. And uh, we will be mailing them out. We're not sure yet if we're gonna mail them directly to you or to your teachers. We'll have to look and see what information you put in uh, and whether it's feasible to send them directly to you. So, moving right into it. In the junior group documentary category, in sixth place, from Kutztown Area Middle School, the most profitable 44.4 miles on the Reading, Kutztown's Aaron Parallel Branch Line. The students are Alexander Fry, Noah Thomas, Jonathan Massey, and Gabriel Klaus. In fifth place, from Fugit Middle School, Mao Zedong and the Cultural Revolution. The students are Brian Sheely, Peter Carr, Alex Chen, and Noel Dugan. Teacher is Doug McGillrevy, McGillrevy, excuse me. In fourth place, from Mountain View Middle, Middle School in Mechanicsburg, breaking the glass barrier of the Supreme Court, the appointment of Sandra Day O'Connor, an advocate for gender equality. Students are Sri Kaneru and Evangelina Lamashane. Teacher is Joe Ferguson. In the third place, in the junior group documentary category, from Donegal Junior High School in Marietta, PA, Love Knows No Boundaries. The students are Zoe Snyder, Corinne Watson, and Hannah Slobosian. The teacher is Susan Height. In second place, from Fugit Middle School, Christian Barnard and the First Human Heart Transplant. The students are Zachary Iozzi and Joseph Iozzi. 
and teacher is Becky Peters. And in first place in junior group documentary category from Donegal Junior High School, Marietta, Pennsylvania, Flying Against the Wind, Breaking Barriers in the Golden Age of Aviation, the students are Bailey Schoff, Sophia Watson, and the teacher is Susan Height. In the senior group documentary category, in sixth place from Westchester, PA, Westchester East High School, Destitution, Repression, and Glasnost, Breaking Barriers in the USSR. Students are Matthew Iozzi and Ibarami Suresh. The teacher is Christine Bland. In fifth place, from Oakmont, Pennsylvania, Riverview High School, Sputnik, the invention that inspired innovation by Ziad Jafar and Matthew Rossi. Teacher is Ken Kubistek. In fourth place, from McCungie, Pennsylvania, Emos High School. Deaf president now, breaking leadership barriers at Gagadet University. Students are Nadia Anthony and Julia McDonald. The teacher is Michael Carolla. In third place, from Wallingford, Pennsylvania, St. Joseph's Preparatory School, now is the time, desegregating Girard College. Student is Ricky Ralph. Teacher is Leo Vaccaro. In second place in senior group documentary, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Central High School, Diverse City, Residential Integration in Philadelphia's West Mount Airy. Students are Lily Cohen, Isabella Green, Margot Engel, and Emmett Gordon. The teacher is Elliot Drago. And in first place for the senior group documentary category, from Carlisle, PA, Carlisle High School, Women at West Point, Breaking Barriers of the Long Gray Line by Kaylin Rowland and Katherine Miller. The teacher is Mike Gavazzi. In the junior group exhibit category, in sixth place, from Larksville, Pennsylvania, Good Shepherd Academy, Kurt Flood, Breaking Contractual Barriers Through Free Agency by Lucas Kachinko and Jordan Leck. Teacher is Jennifer Jones. In fifth place, Stone This Time, Dynamite Next, The Desegregation of Little Rock. From Allentown, PA, Orfield Middle School, Caitlin Burke and Grace Lynn. Teacher is Michael Messerschmidt. In fourth place, from Harrisburg, Holy Name of Jesus School, through Anne's words, students are Zachary Rollins and Anthony Mahoney. Teacher is Christine Zeglin. In third place, junior group exhibit from Emus PA, Lower McCungie Middle School, Babbage Breaking Barriers, Breaking Barriers in the Field of Technology and Mathematics. Students are Adam Grigoruk and Chad Kaufman. The teacher is Patrick Campbell. In second place, junior group exhibit from Chalfont, PA, from Unami Middle School, History's Home Run, Evan Morrow, Nick Easterly, Drew Sakharowitz, and Beckham Polis. Teacher is John Smola. And in first place in the junior group exhibit category, from Enola, PA, from the Harrisburg Academy, Tupperware, Paving the Way for the Reentry of Women to the Workforce by Annabelle Hathaway and Drew Meals. The teacher is Peter Frangle. Moving on to the senior group exhibit category. In sixth place, from Jameson, PA, Central Bucks High School East, Dr. Folkman, Killing the Source by Danica Greaser, Nicole Shaliga, and teacher is Chris Johnson. In fifth place, from Oakmont, PA, Riverview High School, Breaking the Sound Barrier, Helping Profoundly Deaf Individuals Listen and Speak, from, by Katie Carlino and Taylor Billet. The teacher is Ken Kubistek. In fourth place, senior group exhibit, from Kutztown, Kutztown Area Senior High School, 
Breaking the Bomber, How an Eccentric Psychiatrist, a Secretary Named Alice, and a Desperate Police Force Led to the Birth of Criminal Profiling by Isabella Pizzolanti, Dominic Pizzolanti, and Grace Burke. Teacher is Amy Howard. In third place from Philadelphia, PA, Masterman High School, Can a Colored Woman Become a Physician? Virginia M. Alexander's Fight for Acceptance in Medicine. Students are Annetta Iwano, Isabella Portner, and Kara McCarthy. Teacher is Liz Taylor. Second place senior group exhibit from Philadelphia Masterman High School, The Amistad Mutiny, Mutiny, Not Property, But Free Men, by Madison Shelton, Chloe Doyle, and Lizelle Nindreka. Teacher is Liz Taylor. And in first place, senior group exhibit, from McMurray, Pennsylvania, Peters Township High School, From Behind the Lens, How Lewis Hine Exposed Child Labor, by Robin Strazizar, Amelia Dedecchio, and Sophia Wilson. Teacher is Joshua Elders. Junior group performance in sixth place, from Allentown, PA, Springhouse Middle School, Clara Lemley by Sarah Holland, Haley Saltz, and Natalie Passaway. Teacher is Joshua Abrams. In fifth place from Bell Vernon, PA, Bell Vernon Area Middle School, Civil Disobedience in Washington, Pennsylvania, Breaking the Barrier of the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 by Emma Fitch and McLean Pavlish. Teacher is Ross Farmer. In fourth place, from Harrisburg, PA, Holy Name of Jesus School, The Failed Experiment, by Luigi Leone, Clara Welshens, Mackenzie Ayers, and Zachary Kellerman. Teacher is Nancy Staffaroni. Junior group performance, third place, from Harrisburg, PA, St. Mary Margaret School, All Shook Up, How Elvis Broke Barriers in Entertainment and Created Rock and Roll, by Karis Kalla, R.J. Duffy, and Emma Duffy. The teacher is Magdalena Monahan. And in second place, junior group performance from Bell Vernon, PA, Bell Vernon Area Middle School, Out of the Ashes and Into the Cauldron, The Cotton Mill Strikes in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. By Shalia Clendaniel, Hannah Biscaglia, and Abigail Brakeheart. The teacher is Ross Farmer. And in first place, junior group performance from Pittsburgh, Mary Queen of Apostles School. They are humans too. Dorothea Dix breaks the gender barrier to advocate for the mentally ill. By Leo Troiano and Maggie Nesco. The teacher is Brandy Figueroa. Moving on to senior group performance. In sixth place, from Brainingsville, PA, Parkland High School, Passion and Power, Breaking Barriers for the Conservation of Our Environment. Uma Pirani and Ella Wu. Teacher is Calliope Malikas. In fifth place, Reagan and Gorbachev, Tearing Down Walls, by Lydia Berger and Quinn Kubistek. From North Huntington, PA, Norwin Senior High School, teacher is Constance Damore Sabine. In fourth place, from Harrisburg, PA, Bishop McDevitt High School, The Radium Girls, Breaking Barriers in Industrial Workers' Safety. By Elena Carnicelli, Francesco Canagliosi, and Ava Smith. Teacher is Eric Mark. In third place, from Philadelphia, PA, Masterman High School, The Right of Revolution, Resisting the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, by Sean Clendon, Hayden Gold, and Connie Zhang. Second place, senior group of performance, from Wexford, PA, Pine Richland High School, A Walk Down Abbey Road, How the Beatles Broke Barriers in History, by Victor Williams, Joshua Remby, Anthony Hartwick, and Michael Alessi. And in first place, senior group performance from McCungie, PA, 
Amos High School, Elizabeth Arden and Helen Rubenstein, Empowering Women While Breaking Barriers in Beauty and Business, Pandora Schoen and Stefania Schoen. Teacher is Melissa Montero. Now on to Junior Group website. In sixth place, from Harrisburg, PA, Marshall Mount Science Academy, A New Dawn, Overcoming Adversity, Helen Keller, by Takira Godfrey and Ariba Mayer. Teacher is John Demko. In fifth place, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Crusading to End Gender Discrimination. Students are Elizabeth Matthew, Audrey Beckman, and Stella Ramali. From Fugit Middle School, teacher is Doug McGillivray. In fourth place, from Enola, PA, Mountain View Middle School, Prescription Zero, How Penicillin Broke Barriers in Antibiotics, by Christian Gensbigler, Ben Troutline, and Benjamin Troutline. Teacher is Jake Miller. In third place, from Fogelsville, Springhouse Middle School, Project Mercury, The Forgotten Mission, Anthony Grigoli, Luke Patin, and Samith Rahadi. Teacher is Joshua Abrams. Junior group website, second place. From Brenningsville, PA, Springhouse Middle School, Breaking Barriers of Discrimination, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Anthony Tomey and Rashab Yanala. Teacher is Joshua Abrams. And in first place, from Holy Sepulchre School, it's you I like. Julia Riley, Alyssa Cannon, and Star Henwood. Teacher is Dorothy Johnson. And now on to Senior Group website. In sixth place, from Verona, PA, Riverview High School, Hammurabi's Code, The Barrier Between Freedom and Society, by Joey Nzinga and Adrian Dragzinger. Teacher is Ken Kubistek. In fifth place, from Stafford, PA, Purchase Line High School. Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation, The Changing of the Church by Madison Scalise and Noah Peels. Teacher is Melinda Knapp. In fourth place, from Harrisburg, Bishop McDevitt High School, Breaking Barriers Through Love, The Stonewall Rebel Rebel Rebellion and the Fight for Gay Liberation. Haley Watson and Talia Puglisi. Teacher is, is Eric Mark. In third place, from Allentown, PA, The Warren Court, Chipping Away the Walls of Inequality in America. By Dia Patel, Ishva Shah, Shriya Patel, and Kushi Patel. Teachers are Mike Carolla and Miss Melissa Montero. And in second place, senior group website. From Brenningsville, PA, Parkland High School, the strangest place on earth for human tots to be fed, nursed, and cared for. Ankitha Manjanatha and Akshatha Manjanatha. Teacher is Calliope Balikas. And in first place, for senior group website, from Cookstown Area High School, it's You I Like, How Mr. Rogers Taught Us to Be a Good Neighbor, by Emma Keller and Kaylin Leidy. Teacher is Amy Howard. In the Junior Individual Documentary category, in sixth place, from Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg Academy, Miles Davis, How One Man Broke the Barrier Between Jazz and Rock, by Luca Savarino. In fifth place, from Mechanicsburg, Mountain View Middle School, Soaring Through Barriers, Raina Schreiner, teacher is Jake Miller. In fourth place, from Orfield Middle School, Jazz, the Music That Fueled the Revolution, by Thomas Gilchrist, teacher is Mike Messerschmidt. In third place, from Delmont, Franklin Regional Middle School, Friendship Seven, Breaking the Physiological Barriers to Change the Course of the Space Race by Julianne Landsberg. Teacher is Jennifer Joyce. Second place, Junior Individual Documentary.
from Kutztown Area Middle School. When breaking barriers means life or death, the remarkable courage of allied spy Virginia Hall by Lila Pizzolanti. Teacher is Aaron Ashman. In first place, from Philadelphia St. Peter's School, Superpower Change, Marvel Defines Social Barriers. Students are Nora Strauss. Teacher is Marion Cronin Collin. In the Senior Individual Documentary category, in sixth place, from Philadelphia, Masterman High School, Grits Not Guns, the Black Panthers Party Free Breakfast Program by Max Chen. Teacher is Liz Taylor. In fifth place, from Bell Vernon Area High School, the Allegheny Cotton Mill Strikes, Breaking Barriers for Women, Working Class Women by Joelle Kennedy. Teacher is Ross Farmer. In fourth place, from the Harrisburg Academy, Moving Mountains and Changing the Future of Travel, America's First Superhighway by Everett Pappenfuse. Teacher is Lindsay Bowman. And in third place from Marietta, Donegal High School, Coughing Up Cash, Sealing the Future of Philanthropy by Taylor Barton. Teacher is Susan Height. Second place in Senior Individual Documentary, from Doylestown, PA, Central Bucks High School East, the Names Project AIDS Quilt, Breaking the Barrier Between American Attitudes and the AIDS Crisis by Peter Glauber. The teacher is Chris Johnson. And in first place, senior individual documentary from Philadelphia Masterman High School, Don't Buy Where You Can't Work, Leon Sullivan's Fight Against Job Discrimination by Julian, Juliana Oliva. Teacher is Liz Taylor. In the junior individual exhibit category, in sixth place from Renoir Radnor Middle School, Elizabeth Blackwell, Breaking the Gender Barrier Through Medicine by Gabby Heverling. Teacher is Jeff McQuaid. In fifth place from Fugit Middle School, Leonardo da Vinci, Forming the Fissures that Fractured the Ceiling. Student is Alexander Barnes. Teacher is Thomas Swift. In fourth place, from Orfield Middle School, Boeing 747, an icon in air travel, by Eric Jin. The teacher is Michael Messerschmidt. From Harrisburg, Holy Name of Jesus School in third place, When Smoke Ran Like Water. Gianna DeVivo, teacher is Nancy Staffaroni. Junior individual exhibit, second place from Brenoir, PA, Radnor Middle School, Brenda Berkman, Fighting the Fires of Discrimination by Anna Conan. Teacher is Joseph Etternach. And in first place, junior individual exhibit from Venetia, PA, Peters Township Middle School. Breaking the Silence of the Chemical Death Rain, Rachel Carson Empowers the Environmental Movement by Anna Hoffman. Teacher is Josh Elders. In the Senior Individual Exhibit category, from McCungie, PA, Emma's High School, Coco Chanel, Breaking the Gender Barriers Through Fashion. The student is Maggie Michalski, and the teacher is David Brown. In fifth place, from Carlisle High School, Breaking Barriers at the Bar, Ida Cast, Cumberland County's first female attorney, by Lola Gaiman. Teacher is Delia Roper. In fourth place, from MSPA, MS High School, Bouncing Bombs, Breaking Barriers, Sophia Harris. Teacher is Melissa Montero. In third place, from Warrington, PA, Central Bucks High School South. Ada Lovelace, The Computing Visionary, by Amy Liu. Teacher is Rachel Nulty. And in second place, Senior Individual Exhibit category from Carlisle Area High School. Janet Guthrie, Racing Past Gender Bar Barriers, by Olivia Renault. Teacher is Kevin Wagner. 
And in first place, from Presto, PA, Winchester Thurston School, Bletchley Park, Grains Over Brawn, by Rishi Mukherjee. Teacher is Callie Grupp. On into junior individual performance. In sixth place, from Allentown, Pennsylvania, Springhouse Middle School, Shion Siguara, a silent hero who broke both governmental and cultural barriers of Japan and Lithuania. Mahane Takahashi, teacher is Joshua Abrams. In fifth place, from Export PA, Franklin Regional Middle School, Milton Hershey, One Vision, One Man, by Emerson Simon. The teacher is Brandon Agan. In fourth place from Murraysville, Franklin Regional Middle School, the real Pied Piper, breaking familial barriers in World War II to save England's children. The student is Evelyn Maiman, and the teacher is Jennifer Joyce. In third place from Dury, PA, Wyoming Seminary Lower School, Behind Closed Doors, Breaking Through the Barrier of Political Partisanship. Paul Stevenson, the teacher is Clark Switzer. Second place, junior individual performance from Phoenixville, St. Norbert School. Jean-Francois Champagnon, Codebreaker Extraordinary by Lawson Miller. And in first place, from Phoenixville, PA, St. Norbert School, Alan Turing, The Turing Time of New Inventions by Christopher Palmer. Teach, excuse me, Christopher Palmer. Teacher is Mary Reeson. In the Senior Individual Performance category, sixth place, Orfield, PA, Parkland High School. Dorothea Dix, Breaking Barriers in the Human Rights Offense of the Mentally Ill by Hope Broadhurst. The teacher, is Calliope Valigas. In fifth place from Tarentum, PA, St. Joseph High School, failure is not an option. Breaking barriers to send men to the moon by Ethan Schroeder. Fourth place from Bell Vernon, PA, Bell Vernon Area High School, her time to play, women breaking barriers in basketball. Viva Chris. Teacher is Ross Farmer. And in third place, Breaking Through the Surface, Wangari Mathi and the Roots of the Green Belt Movement by Megan Mora. From Bishop McDevitt High School, teachers Eric Mark. In second place, from California, PA, Salamander Meadows Homeschool, The Story of Starlight, Women Who Changed Our Understanding of the Universe. The student is Liliana Hudd. And the teacher is Annalise Carlton Hub. And in first place from Carlisle Area High School, Star Trek Breaking Barriers in Space and on the Small Screen by Lorraine Durbin. Teacher is Delia Roper. Moving on to Junior Individual website. From New Kensington, Pennsylvania, Mary Queen of Apostles. Defining History, Liberty, Justice, and Truth Through DNA Testing. The student is Grace Nesco, and the teacher is Brandy Figueroa. In fifth place, from Harrisburg, Holy Name of Jesus School, Breaking Chains for Freedom by Grayson Conrad. Teacher is Nancy Staffaroni. In fourth place, from Harrisburg, Marshall Math Science Academy, Muhammad Ali and the Ideological Barriers of the Vietnam War from Abdul Salam Ahmad. Teacher is Jim Howard. In third place, Breaking Through the Land and Sea, the Panama Canal. From Springhouse Middle School, student Sonny Chen. Teacher, Joshua Abrams. Second place, Junior Individual Website from Pittsburgh, Kentucky Avenue School, from Numbers to Words. How Grace Hopper Broke the Barrier of Human-Computer Communication by Olena Mukherjee. Teacher is Molly Butler. 
And in first place from Enola, Mountain View Middle School, Breaking the Barrier in Education, Mendez v. Westminster. Elizabeth Howard, teacher is Joe Ferguson. And in the senior individual website category, in sixth place from Allentown, Parkland High School, breaking a forbidden ethical boundary, the creation of the atomic bomb. Student is Maya Hukoa, Hukoka, excuse me. And the teacher is Calliope Bolikas. In fifth place, from Venetia PA, Peters Township High School, Breaking Barriers and Splitting Atoms, the Development and Use of the First Atomic Weapons. Student is Joseph Nypaver, and the teacher is Josh Elders. In fourth place, from Carlisle Area High School, Women's Medical College of PA, A New Era for Women in Medicine. Student is Madison Ellis, and the teacher is Kevin Wagner. In third place, from Johnstown, PA, Greater Johnstown Senior High School, Mary Curie, Pioneer for Women in the World, by Carolyn Gress. The teacher is Devin Carosi. Senior Individual Website, second place, from Orfield Parkland High School. Will you accept or reject them? Breaking Barriers of Gender and Inequality in Medicine, by Tanya Mehta. Teacher is Calliope Velikas. And in first place, senior individual website from West Newton, Bell Vernon Area High School, The Firebird. Maria Talchi, Breaking Barrier Breaking Ballerina by Riley Shaw. Teacher is Ross Farmer. And junior paper from Alum Bank, Chestnut Ridge Middle School, Becky Hammond by Madison Boatman. Teacher is A.J. Wayan. In fifth place, from Holidaysburg, Claysburg Kimmel High School, Daniel Hale Williams by Jenna Helsel. Teacher is Kurt Rogers. In fourth place, breaking the, excuse me, from Philadelphia, St. Peter's School, breaking the Antarctic barrier, becoming the first person to step foot on the South Pole by Sam Oliver. Teacher is Marion Cronin Connolly. Third place junior paper from Orfield Springhouse Middle School. The beginning of a new period, a first for mankind. Penicillum Notatum Chrysogenum by Vidi Desai. Teacher is Joshua Abrams. Junior paper, second place. From Fugit Middle School, the king of ragtime, breaking down social barriers. Student is Ethan Altschul, teacher Thomas Swift. And in first place for junior papers from Bell Vernon Area Middle School, the road that built America, the national road and the breaking of the nation's first geographic and political barriers. By Nisa Alexander, and the teacher is Ross Farmer. And finally, senior paper. And don't run off after this, I've got a few more awards to give out. Senior paper in sixth place. From McCungie, PA, MS High School, Margaret Sanger, Breaking the Barriers of Birth Control by Lynn Luo. Teacher is Michael Carolla. In fifth place, from Jenkintown, PA, Abington Friends School, Constructing a Surveillance Precedent by Breaking Privacy Barriers. The Passage and Legacy of the USA Patriot Act of 2001 by Joseph Rotella. The teacher is Margaret Guerra. In fourth place, from Brockway Area Junior Senior High School, Conquering the Barriers Between Nature and Man, Rachel Carson and the Modern Environmental Movement by Shaughnessy Richardson. In third place, Elizabeth Eckford, The Cost of Breaking Barriers by Fjorner Ni Kochalan, Kochling, I'm sorry. Um, and teacher is Michael Carolla from Emma's High School. 
In second place, senior paper from Lancaster, PA, McCaskey High School, broadcasting breaking barriers between a people and their president. Student is Zyla Carlson, teacher is Kevin Webster. And in first place from senior paper from Philadelphia Masterman High School, Loving v. Virginia, Challenging the Legal Limitations on Love by Una Toman. Teacher is Liz Taylor. And before we conclude, I have three more awards that I would like to give out. And then I have a word to say uh, to the students who have placed and would like to know what is going to happen next. One award we have to give out is the Erwin Marcus Prize. And unfortunately, uh, Ms. Linda Reese, who's our usual presenter, was unable to attend. She did record a presentation, uh, but we weren't able to get the technology to work. Uh, so I'm going to present the award and the, the check and certificate will be mailed to the, to the winner. The Irwin M. Marcus History Day Award honors a worthy paper on a Pennsylvania history topic submitted to the senior division of the National History Day in Pennsylvania competition. Dr. Marcus was a longtime professor at Indiana University of Pennsylvania and a respected historian of labor and industrial history. The prize comes with a check and the paper will be published in Pennsylvania History, a Journal of Mid-Atlantic Studies. And this year, the award goes to Shauna C. Richardson for her paper, Conquering the Barriers Between Nature and Man, Rachel Carson and the Modern Environmental Movement. The two final awards we have are for the outstanding schools in the junior and senior division. And this year, we have something that I have not seen before in this is now my 11th state competition. Uh, we have a tie in the junior division. We have a four-way tie in the junior division. So my congratulations goes out to St. Norbert School, Kutztown Middle School, Springhouse Middle School, and Bell Vernon Area Middle School. We also had a very tight competition in the senior division, but we only came out with one winner. And that award goes to Masterman High School. Congratulations to everyone who has participated in the contest this year. It's important to understand that even making it to the state contest is a remarkable, is a remarkable uh, accomplishment. Only about 15% of the projects that start out in Pennsylvania in any given year make it to the state contest. So just getting here uh, says a lot about your hard work and your dedication especially this year. And my heart and thanks go out to everybody who helped make this year possible. To the judges who took the time and put in the energy to learn how to conduct their judging online, to the teachers and the students who quickly adapted to this new format for presenting your, 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 your projects to History Day and getting them uploaded to the system. It was really a team effort. So I thank you all very much for making this program worthwhile. We will see you again next year. Uh, we do not have a, an announcement yet on the date and location of the state contest. Uh, stay tuned, that will be forthcoming. And I do want to say for the projects going on, first and second place are going to the national contest. If for some reason, the first and second place winners cannot go. Please let me know as soon as possible. The third place entries are on deck to serve as alternates. Your projects must be advanced through the ZFAIR system before you can register. You will register using the same login information as you did for the state contest. However, you can go to nhd.org and start looking at the guidelines for submitting your project to the national contest. We will email evaluation sheets to all students as soon as possible. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I will be monitoring my email for the remainder of the weekend. I believe that's everything. If I've forgotten something, I'm sure somebody will send me an email and say, hey, you forgot. Uh, but I do want to thank you all again for helping make this a successful program despite the difficult circumstances of the year. Thank you and have a great weekend.